Hello my YouTube gang, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, my name is Sipten Nsangi. Today I'm going to take you through PDF generation with dynamic data from the DB in Laravel. We'll be using a Laravel extension known as Laravel DOM PDF and I will be showing you a step-by-step -step procedure on how to go about it. I have used this extension in my Laravel VUX showcase series in video number 5 where you can go and check it out and get yourself familiar with the end results of the same before you dig deep into coding. I will leave a link down in the description so that you don't get any problems finding it. So stay tuned and join me in the second part where I will be breaking it down. So welcome back to the second part of this video tutorial and uh, I'm going to go straight to DOM PDF GitHub account where I'm going to require this extension so that we can uh, use it in our Laravel. So this is the command that we are going to use and so that we require this uh, Laravel extension. So I'm going to paste it here and require the extension. My terminal is done uh, requiring this Laravel extension and now the next thing that we are supposed to do is go ahead and create a controller that we will use to require this PDF. The command is php, sorry, php artisan make controller and we are going to make a resourceful controller so I'm going to to put the name of the controller which is I'll use uh, let me use pdf controller then hyphen hyphen resource so enter so we have successfully created this controller so we are going also to go to the web.php where we are going to create our we are going to create our root to this controller so i'm going only to refer to the index file so the the controller will be the the root itself let me call it pdf and uh, the controller it is pdf controller and the name of the controller will be pdf let me call it pdf save then we are going to open that controller the pdf controller and under the index that's where we are going to put our code now we are going to use the app class the the, the user class that is so i'm going to type use an app then this backslash then user so i'm going in short i want to require the i want to create a list of the users that are present in this system now previously i had registered a couple of users i think i have three now i'm going to generate a pdf of these users that, that, that i have the next thing that we need to require up here is the pdf so use pdf so the pdf extension that we we have required earlier so under here i'm going to prepare to 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 request for a list for a list of all the users of which uh, i'm going to create a variable call it user and uh, user then all so this code is going to give me a list of all the users that I have currently so I'm going to let me let me let me try to see if uh, I if this code of mine is currently working so that before we go any further so fast so I'm going to return user there we go so uh let me go to to the home.play.php and try to see if i can get 
the, the first user of the system before we continue to the PDF section. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put a, a button and a link so that I can put the link inside here. So root, sorry, inside here I'm going to put the root of which it is the PDF. And then let me convert this link into a button. So I'm going to put here, B, write here BTN, then BTN success. So this will be a button and let me just write here PDF. So I'm going to, to log in uh, as I as one of the users that I've registered, let me use uh, sangisipran.gmail.com login. So there we go. We have a, a button which is written PDF. So when I click it, oh sorry, there was an error. So I think we are going. We were going wrong on the on the route. Uh, how we were writing our a tag. So this is how it is supposed to be. Kindly make corrections where necessary. It was here where I had put. Uh, here, that is where there was something wrong. So uh, after we put it like that, and uh, I'm trying to see if I can get at least the first user. So click that button, and here you can see under the original, we have the this first user of the system which has been returned back, which means our code is working right. So uh, when we want to create a PDF, what we are supposed to do, let me go back to the DOM, DOM PDF uh, GitHub account so that I can get a whole, I, I can grab a code that they use. So here is the, fa is the facade that we are supposed to use so that we can load the PDF. So go ahead and copy this. And uh, to your application, you can paste it now here. Sorry, you can paste that that piece of code here. So uh, push a little bit. So here we have the PDF, then load view, then PDF dot invoice, then the data. So here I'm going to load this view to a to to a view which I'm going to create it. I've not created it yet, so it's called. It's going to be called PDF. And then here I'm going to pass in some data of which it will be the user. Then I'm going to delete this first because we are, we are going to require all the users that we need. And uh, I think this one is supposed to be under the square bracket so that it will work right. Sorry for that. Let me just leave it the way it was and try if it will work right. So there we have the user. Then uh, here, the here this one is going to determine the. This is the name of the of the file that we are going to require as a PDF. So I'm going to put my own name. You can also put yours. So I'm going to use uh, the name uh, users. So users.pdf. Then I think uh, we are done with the controller. So the next thing that we're supposed to do is uh, go to to the views where we are going to create a view, this view, the, this PDF. So under the views, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it PDF dot blade dot php now here is where we are going to create our list of the users that we have in the system so i have a, a code here which i'm going to copy and paste here it's just a, it's just some css class we have the style it's a, it's a table of border collapse with 100% table head, table data. 
and uh, we also have the end child, the color. We have you can get these classes under uh, the W3 schools, they are there. These are just nice CSS style for this table. So, the title I can put a uh, La Domf Domf Dom PDF users. Then we have uh, now, uh, we don't need a heading, we don't need a heading for now. I'll just delete it and leave it empty. So, what I need now is the name, email, and maybe. We can just have name and email because that is those are the details that we have in the in the system for now. Then here this is a for each loop. This is blade templating. So I'm going to we have the user. That is the variable that we have here, the user. So where was I? Under the PDF. So, so user for each user as. Let me just use users for each users as user. So here we'll have the name and the email. Then, end for each. So here I'm going also to make a slight change. I'm going to put an S here. And here also. I'm going to add an S and we're done. So let's go and try our code and see if it is going to download this PDF for us. So where was I? There we go. I'm going to refresh and define variable user. So so I think we should return our square brackets. So that we see if it's going to work that way. So this one is supposed to be users, then users like that. So let me see. Refresh and define variable graduate. Oh, sorry, it's supposed to be. For each user, refresh. So there we go. You can see we have now our PDF that has been downloaded. So let's browse it and see what is inside that PDF. So you can see here we have our name and email. So name is Cyprian. And the email, we have the second user. Sorry. So that is how simple it is to do a PDF using Laravel uh, DOM PDF extension. And uh, I wish you guys all the best. If you find this information useful, kindly share, subscribe, and uh, like. And uh, I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you so much.